What up, it's PBJ, back at it again with another video. So, Michigan arms happened about two days ago, and I'm feeling pretty good. The left arm, it's, it's like hurting a little bit in the elbow and just throughout my arm. But the right arm, literally completely fine. The elbow pain isn't even there anymore, and my arm is just completely fine. And I'm honestly like really grateful for that. Been doing the jam presses really hard and really been, you know, healing up my right, uh, especially. So I'm glad that my elbow is finally no longer an issue, you know, knock on wood, but you know, I'm 99.9% percent sure it's never gonna be an issue anymore. But I actually wanna talk about something uh, interesting. Also, I'm wearing a Michigan arm shirt right here, as you can see. Uh, let's pull. We got the signature gorilla Michigan arms. I think it's really cool. I'm wearing it. Uh, I have this shirt and another shirt, which you'll probably see in another video. But beyond that, something I want to talk about actually was the rankings. And you know, where do I place now in the uh, right hand 198 pound class? So let me give you a little recap, okay? So back in January, I went to an arm wrestling tournament. I competed in the right and left open 198 pound class. And I basically went up against a good amount of people, but there was this one dude that I went up against who beat me right and left arm. And he, his name is Jacob Brando, okay? So Jacob, basically, we had these like long matches against each other and he ended up winning both of them and just a super strong guy like it was pretty awesome to like go against him and you know even though I lost like everybody was super hyped for our matches and pretty much um what ended up happening was uh the ranking got updated I got to number seven in both right and left arm and he in the right arm one he is number five in the 198 pound uh, Michigan, you know, right arm. And so pretty much in the tournament that just happened, Michigan arms, um, I went up against him twice in the novice, I think, or in the open. Well, I know I, I went up against him once in the open for sure. And then I think twice in the novice. And I beat him both times in the novice and I beat him in the open. So it's like the opposite of what happened last time because he beat me both times last time and I was able to beat him this time. So now what I'm wondering is how do I place in the rankings? Because it went Jacob and then Scott White and then me for five, six, and seven. Since I beat Jacob um, like the three times or whatever, I didn't beat Scott White. He was one of the people that beat me in January. And, but I would think because I beat the dude number five, that like, since he was already above him, I would think I would go to number five now. But there's also, you know, some other things that probably have to be worked out on the rankings because um, some other people probably are gonna move spots as well. But I'm interested to see how the rankings are affected by Michigan arms, like the Michigan arm wrestling rankings, because I think that I deserve to, you know, move up now, especially since I was able to beat him this time. So we'll have to see what they do with those rankings. But I just kind of wanted to give some food for thought, thinking how interesting it is, and just say that, again, that I'm really grateful that you know, for everyone that supported me on YouTube and in the comments and everybody that cheered me on during my matches, you know, I ended up winning the novice class, which was really cool. Got a medal, it's in my closet. And it's just so cool, like, that the progression of it really, you know, because there was no way I was beating uh, Jacob in January. Like he was just straight up stronger than me. And now that I was able to beat him like it shows me like the growth you know that's one of the nice things about going to these tournaments is the growth of it like you might go to a tournament one day and you know just get completely clapped and you know just lose right then you go to another one and now you've improved a little bit and you've gotten stronger you might have worked your technique more worked better angles 
and you know, got a better setup, whatever. Excuse, it was like half a burp. I don't even know, excuse me. The point is, you got better. And you know, there really is levels to it. Like, it's so cool that like, you know, for me, I've worked really hard for this, you know? And I don't give myself enough credit for that a lot of the time because my entire life, like some of you may know, I was bullied a lot. So it's hard for me to like be able to see like how good, like what I'm doing really is, you know? Like it's hard for me to give myself that credit pretty much, but you know, I'm getting there, I'm making progress and I'm, you know, I'm moving up in the rankings. So Luke, better watch out. I'm gonna get number one first, I already know. And um, yeah, I'm still going for that number one spot no matter what. When I, when I made that video about me being uh, seventh place in both arms, I was dead serious. I'm going for number one. And as you can see, you know, I'm already making some progress there, I hope. So I'm going for number one in the 198 pound class right arm. My left arm, just really injury prone, unfortunately. And uh, that's why I didn't compete with it. People kept asking me, Phoenix, your left is so strong. Why aren't you competing with it? It's just really, really injury prone. It's just not the same as my right. Like my right arm now, I can literally go and arm wrestle in a tournament and an after pulling. I literally after pulled for like 10 minutes straight. And I literally like, my right arm is completely fine. I literally worked out just fine today. But then my left arm, it just isn't there. It just straight up isn't there. And it literally hurts. I had to take some leave because it hurts so bad. But it is what it is at the end of the day. I'm just gonna keep training, keep getting stronger. Hopefully the left will catch up to the right. It eventually will. It'll take some time though. But I'm glad that elbow pain is not a factor. Those of you that have been following my channel know how bad that elbow pain really has been, you know? And it's it's nice to finally not have to deal with it. And I'm not sure if I'll include the clips of like January to now, like the tournament, like if I still have them, we'll see, you know? And I'll try to show you like a reference and, you know, show you me versus him in January versus me versus him in, uh, you know, Michigan Arms two days ago. But uh, I'm super excited. I made progress and that's all that really matters. Um, I don't really try to compare myself to anybody else. I like to compare myself, you know, to my past self. And that's just what I did. I got stronger and I'm really proud of it because I've come a long way since the beginning, about two years in the sport now. And yeah, I'm gonna try to start getting some practices going. Um, probably gonna make a YouTube video dedicated to that, trying to get some people. And yeah, about it for me. So what do you think? Do you think I should be ranked higher now that I beat him or not? Or do you think I should have to beat Scott White first? Or what do you think? Let me know in the comments. And thank you for all the people that congratulated me for, for the, the win and the first place in the novice. I really do appreciate it and yeah, that's pretty much it for me. So like, comment, subscribe. We're at 1540 now. This is crazy to me that I started from zero and I'm at 1,540. Like literally each and every person, each and every subscriber matters to me. So thank you very much. And you know, go ahead and get the merch. I was wearing it at the tournament. I had to represent if you want to. And if you just want to support me more, you know, I'd love to see more people wearing the stage act. It's just like, it'd be pretty cool in my opinion. And yeah, so that's about it for me. So legendary two words to say at the end of every video. Stage act. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Right there, I'm gonna start you. Ready? Go! Come on! Come on.